evening. Welcome to the Derby Debrief from Rams TV. I'm in Bradley with former Derby County captain Sean Barker alongside here to bring you some reaction to a disappointing day for Derby at Oakwell this afternoon. Another defeat in Yorkshire for the Rams. They've lost 2-1 at Barnsley. Fellow promotion contenders, the Rams went in front through Sonny Bradley's header, his first goal for the club, but two from Adam Phillips. Uh, on either side of half-time, saw Barnsley get the victory and close to within three points of the Rams. Been another interesting day at the top of the League One table. We'll tell you all about that later in the programme. We'll start with Derby. We'll start with a word from Sean, as we always do. Um, wasn't much in it today, but Derby second best in the end. Yeah, we, we've had games this season where it's felt a little bit like that, but on the transitions, on the counter the detail of the pass, the, the quality of the final ball in um, has been much, much better and we've punished teams. Today, we didn't give Barnsley too many opportunities um, and when those opportunities to counter, when those opportunities where space opened up, we lacked lots of, and lots of quality and, and key players, the likes of Mendes Lamb, the likes of Max Bird that usually come up trumps were, were a, a little bit below par. So. It was frustrating because of the opportunity. You look at the results, obviously going our way. Um, it was so important that we didn't allow Barnsley to gain some, um, some some points on us, which they have done. And it just felt like until the last 25 minutes, we didn't really give it a go. We didn't really believe um, that we could punish them maybe more than we we should have done. So, all in all, it was it was disappointing. We've we've had similar performances and, and got a really positive result. That wasn't the case this afternoon and it was those fine details that made a big difference. Uh, Derby actually stay second in the table. That's because Bolton lost today as well. As I say, we'll take you through the results and the latest league on the table a little later. Let's bring you some reaction from Oakwell. Uh, first, here's Derby's boss, Paul Warren. Yeah, obviously disappointed. Uh, I thought first half we were poor is probably the nicest way to put it. I just didn't think we had any real personality on the ball. However, what I would say is Barnsley, uh, you know, young team, very young team, athletic team, and they just come after you. And every time we had it, they pressed us, pressed us. We went sideways and backwards a bit too much for me, and then we never made anything sort of happen. It's, it's obviously awkward. Um, we don't have a natural nine, so there's no sort of, like, focal point, really. So I just felt we've struggled to really keep the ball uh, and like I said that's credit to the opposition they didn't sit off us and let us have it they they came after us so we struggled, struggled with that really and um, you know in, in games I just said to the lads in games sometimes you play with a three um, it gives you a bit more uh, defensive stability but you lose something somewhere else and that's what it felt like today I didn't feel like you know they hit a scream the first half but apart from that I don't really think they did anything on our goal so defensively you feel sound, but you don't feel like you can you can get a goal and get a second goal really, um, which is disappointing. And then second half I thought we were significantly better. And then ironically they score on the back of our good bit of play. I thought we then started to look like we had a bit of control and we controlled most of the second half it felt like, um, but we didn't really create any guilt-edged chances. That's sort of my very long answer. So... I appreciate the fans staying with the team. I think you can see how much effort there is and how much character there is to try and win it. You've got Sonny going on an overlap. You've got Kane getting the ball and running at him. You've got like people playing out of position because, you know, in the end we had a few issues to deal with. And so I love the team for that. They just kept going, kept going, kept going. But, you know, today wasn't our day. And hopefully we bounce back Tuesday night and it's our day at home. I felt that you were poor in the first half, but you got your noses in front as well, which I would imagine is what you say to the players regularly about you can be poor in games but you can get yourselves ahead with a set play yeah yeah we yeah we uh, uh looked uh, a threat on on set plays to be honest so that that was pleasing but when i say poor we're not actively going out to play poor i just didn't think we ever strung more than three or four passes together and you know it was two teams it was tense it felt like neither uh, it felt like neither team wanted to lose as opposed to Either team wanted to win, so it just felt like we were playing with a little bit inside ourselves first half. But yeah, um, I thought we scored the set piece before. Cash got one, you know, tipped off the uh, top corner, really, it looked like. So that was disappointing. Um, so yeah, get going 1 0 up was great. And then obviously to concede from a screamer is a bit of a uh, dirty pill to swallow. And then obviously concede, pardon me, off, um, off a corner, which isn't like us. Bit credit to them. It's a good ball in, a good run, and he's hit it perfect. So, 
And I just kept thinking, like, a goal's coming. I never thought we weren't going to equalise, and we made as many changes as we could. We changed the shape, and, you know, game changes came on and had a real positive impact. But we just, you know, today, I, I think, you know, I'm not looking at stats and all that, but it just felt when we left the at the final whistle, I think a draw would have been a fair result. I don't think there was much between two uh, pretty good teams. So, obviously, a disappointment in terms of not getting anything today. You've got two games at home now th- this week, and chance to dust yourselves down and go again because you've said regularly shock horror points are going to be dropped uh, yeah, yeah. in the next it, couple of know, weeks the lads in the dressing room then like you know once the adrenaline runs out of you like boohoo you get you play again in three days time you just got to pick yourself up and go again like you know you can't do nothing about the game now apart from hopefully learn from uh, learn from it but there's you know there's no point sulking about it you just got to between now and the end of the season you've got to get I don't know nine or ten wins maybe if you get two in the next week then you're, you're in a better place but it's not like we've come here and been like, you know, humiliated or we can't get anywhere near anything. It didn't feel like that. It just felt really close. And sometimes it comes down to the smallest of margins. They, you know, we have a set piece we need to score off. There's one could have gone over the bar and, you know, it's a one all and you think everything's all right. But I don't think it's a great deal wrong. I, I, but I do feel that, you know, maybe uh, maybe I got the, uh, the shape wrong first half. But I, I like the three. I liked having Sonny in the middle. It gives us a, a good defensive stability but without a, a number nine I think we sort of lack so hopefully we can try and get the balance right for Tuesday night Get Dwight Gale out there you've got about half an hour in his legs Yeah yeah good to get Dwight out I mean we automatically look better once there's a nine who's in the middle of the pitch and it allowed uh, Nat to sort of wander where he wanted to go Tom Barkhausen went on and was a handful as well and like uh, Kane was an, a complete nuisance down this right wing as well. So there's some really good things, and it's just, a, as always, you, you're blighted by the scoreline. You, you know, you're judged by the scoreline, obviously, but like the lads kept going to the end, which I like. I like the character. They don't want to lose and keep going to the final whistle, but unfortunately today we just didn't get that goal late on. That's our big boss, uh, Paul Warren. There more reaction to come from Oakwell. Um, interesting assessment from him, as always, Sean. I mean, I mean, it was a frantic start, first five minutes. Once things settled down, reasonably even, and and Derby well in front, and you thought at that stage maybe they could go on and build from that. Yeah, they, they got um, obviously a goal from a set piece. They looked a threat from the set pieces even even before that. I think the Aaron Cashin chance was cleared off the line. Um, the way that Barnsley set up meant that Sonny was free at that far post and when he was marked it was with Phillips. So it looked it looked like we were threatening. We obviously got our noses in front. It uh, puts a little bit of added pressure onto the home team at that point. And, and Barnsley just started to find a little bit of rhythm, start to build through the pitch a little bit more confidence. Um, obviously the first goal was, was a wonderful strike from Phillips. For me, I just wanted to stop the cross, and as soon as it goes to the edge of the box, Aaron Cashin wins the header, it drops on the edge. We have to have that emergency defending, go and get to the ball quickly and stop him having time to assess his first touch and, and pick the back of the net with a wonderful strike. So there, there was times in that first half it, it was quite slow and, and there wasn't the detail that we would like to see away from home. Second half, we got going a little bit more, but it always felt like neither team were taking full control of the game and it was a, it was down to a uh, one goal that s- separated the two and it was, I'm sure, infuriating that was from a, a corner themselves. I know most goals that are conceded, you can always point... It's not one mistake generally. You can usually point two or three. You talked about stopping the cross in the first instance. Who's responsible for, for the edge of the penalty area in those situations? Because Phillips had a lot of time to get that shot away, as good a finish as it was. Closest to the ball. So, so you see Sonny Bradley come out in the end, um, but for me, there, there was, I think there was Elder, Sonny Bradley, Cash, there was even a midfielder. It doesn't matter who it is. If someone's free on the edge of the box and they've had a touch, you have to get out quickly. You have to put him under pressure. You have to make him rush the shot. And it was a delayed reaction for me. As soon as the header loops in the air from Aaron Cash in, someone's got to get out to it. And, and for me, it's whoever's closest to the ball. Sometimes you don't have to worry what's behind you, just worry about the ball. And we're not used to seeing Derby concede from set pieces, which is what they did second half. And I'm sure that will not go down well at the training ground when they look back on things on Monday morning. No, and uh, this isn't like me, but I was already um, disappointed. You were already furious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, Adams gives away a free kick. It's on the halfway line. Um, at that point, someone should stand on the ball and stop them playing. They don't turn the back and the ball's played forward. And they had the two chances 
before that because of that moment. Uh, while Smith makes a save and I think Nelson has to yeah. make a block, it's all from that switching off for a moment on the halfway line when you've got control. You can just stand on the ball, slow things down, get your shape, get your structure. We didn't do that. It ends up being a corner um, and Phillips gets a free header at the front post. Now, whether Erin's er been asked to do a zonal, um, obviously it's a good run from Phillips, but you'd still fancy the likes of Erin Cashin to go and attack that ball and win it. And I just don't think he expected Phillips to come in front of him, get the flick. And those little details, like Paul's mentioned before, it, it, it can go a long way when you're looking at games that are super tight. There's not too much between them. Again, it was a frantic game of 90 minutes of football, but how many clear-cut chances were there? There were very few. There was another moment, um, I forget which half it was, second half, I think, when Barnsley were threatening to break down the left-hand side and the ball went out for a throw-in and, and everybody seemed to stop and yeah. Barnsley sort of got behind Derby. Are those sort of moments, do you look at those moments and, and do you have concern about the mentality, perhaps? Uh, not necessarily. I, ju I just think... In these games, in how, when you're looking at the importance of the game, you're looking at how the game is panning out, every single moment matters, every single um, opportunity to switch on and organise. When the ball either goes up for a for throwing goal kick, free kick is an opportunity to, to, to get your shape, get your structure and, and make sure you're organised and sorted really. And it was in the first half, it went down the left hand side, Wilson turns his back as a throw in behind. Those little moments, again, not much between the two sides. I said at half-time, who's going to grab this game? I don't think either team grabbed the game. And in some ways, that's a positive for Derby because you're playing against one of the better teams in the league, at home, one of the form teams in the league, and you, you limited them to few chances. Saying that, they still two, scored two goals. They've still picked up three points. They've still gained three points on us. And we've missed the opportunity to, to gain ground on Portsmouth and, and have a little bit of space with Bolton. And I said at the start, and I say again, if, if we'd have got a point, I would have been pleased. Again, we'll show you what the table looks like in a moment or two. More reaction from Oakwell. First, here's Aaron Cashin. Um, I think first off, we, you know, we could have done a bit better on the ball. I think defensively we was pretty solid. I think obviously he scored a, the the fella scored a great goal from you know it was a great volley. Um, but yeah, you know they they, they started well. They they uh, got in our faces, and I think you know we need to maybe show a bit more composure on the ball. Myself. You know, I feel like first off, I, you know, on the ball, I could have could have done more. Um, and yeah, just just disappointed really because you know the the second goal they scored, you know, set piece were usually so solid at them. Um, and you know, I've not watched it back, but maybe I could do a bit more. Um, but yeah, I'll have to watch that back and see. There wasn't much in the performance at all. Paul always talks about moments in games. It probably was just a moment with the corner, like you say. But you're disappointed that. You did concede from a set piece when you pride yourself on them so much. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like I say, we usually be well. We usually really good at them. Um, we defend them well. Um, so yeah, of course, I'm disappointed with it. Um, and I think we we're quite dangerous at set pieces, but we maybe could have got a few more. You know, I think even even last minute, you know, I'm, I'm, I felt like I maybe could have got on the end of one, and you know, Sonny could have got on the end of one, but. You know, that's that was a big threat for us. You know, set, attacking set players, and I thought overall we were we we were dangerous from them, and obviously we scored from one. Um, so yeah, that's something you know to take out of it. You know, that's a positive, and I think obviously we've got um, two two games coming up now, quick and uh, coming up quick. So hopefully we can get two wins. Never nice to lose, obviously at any point, but as you say, the one positive was set pieces. Other other positives you can take from today is a good. Yeah, I think second half, you know, I felt it was a little bit better. Um, we sort of, we started to get the ball down, we started to play through the midfield and get the ball wide. And, we, you know, we created a few more chances second half, especially late on. Um, granted, it's obviously because of the scoreline and they set off. But, you know, I think if we have that mentality going from the offset and um, we play with like a real purpose, I think, um, yeah, especially at home, I think we'll, we'll cause problems. You've touched on it already, a game on Tuesday, the old cliche, but is it good to, that we have a quick turnaround, we can get back to it Tuesday and hopefully pick up three? Absolutely, yeah, like the, the gaffers just said there, like, obviously we're going to be disappointed, but we don't want to get ourselves two down. Um, we've got you know 12 games, I think it is, left, um, and two of them are coming in the, next, in, in the week. So, yeah, we've just got to dust ourselves off, make sure we're ready and um, look forward to putting it around. Last word on the fans, they were filled that stand to your right just there. It must have been incredible to walk out to that and it's obviously disappointing not to get them the result but a 
a good following again as always from them. Yeah, of course, it's always always excellent from them, and yeah, they didn't they didn't give up. To be fair, they uh, they kept going as as much as we did, and even at the end of the game, you know, I think they <laughs> they showed us the the support that you know I, I've grown so used to, and, and the. They're just really good. So, yeah, thank you to everyone who came out and uh, showed us support. Derby defender Erin Cashin there. Results from the day in League One then. Peterborough winning at Cambridge United uh, in that Cambridge derby in the early kickoff, ending a run of four consecutive defeats as well. Big victory for them. Ephraim Mason Clark with the goal. The other scorelines of particular interest to the Rams. Blackpool beating Bolton by four goals to one. Bolton having a man sent off as well. Charlton, Derby's opponents on Tuesday, held Portsmouth to a goalless draw. Charlton still yet to win under their new manager, uh, Nathan Jones. Certainly going to be an interesting one uh, on Tuesday night. Oxford lost at home to Lake Orient. A big blow uh, for Oxford. Boost for Lake Orient's playoff ambitions. And Stevenage uh, back to winning ways against Wickham. 1-0, the final score there. This is what it means for the table then. Portsmouth stay top and actually extend their lead despite not winning today. Seven points uh, is now the advantage above Derby and Bolton, who both have games in hand. The one for Derby, uh, the two for Bolton. Uh, Barnsley move uh, within three points of second place. But remember that game in hand that Bolton and Barnsley have on Derby is against each other. Uh, Peterborough getting a little bit closer as well. Uh, Lake Norian six points off the playoffs now. At the other end, uh, there are real problems uh, for Port Vale. Uh, maybe for Charlton, who stay just above the bottom four. Shrewsbury uh, did themselves a favour with a victory today. That's all from us for now. If you want more reaction to today's game, it's on the website for you, dcfc.co.uk. That's where you can get your game pass for Tuesday night as well. You'll be able to watch Derby against Charlton on Rams TV. Do join us for that. Goodbye. <laughs>